is a melee build, you don't normally see too many of those out of me, but I seen the Juggernaut and I was like, oh my god, this is so thick, I need to get on this, because everybody else is doing shit like that, so, you know. I made a Blade Flurry build, why? Because obviously Blade Flurry is the best melee skill, and uh, it's pretty satisfying so far in the POB. Uh, I think I might actually try and play this at some point. So basically, um... What do I mention about this build? Well, using Bloodseeker, and we're using Bloodseeker and a mace. So the idea here is that Blade Flurry does not work with a mace. So Bloodseeker, you don't have to alternate. Because um, normally Blade Flurry would alternate weapons. Now it doesn't alternate weapons. So you're always attacking with Bloodseeker, which means you're always getting the instant leech. Um, the DPS on Bloodseeker is not the best, but it gives you instant leech and Blade Flurry does a ton of damage anyways. So that's why we're using that. The mace is insane because it gives you 40% of uh, physical attack with extra fire, 4% to chaos res for endurance charge, which we have 7 of, reduced elemental damage taken per hit per, er, when hit per endurance charge, and then 5 to 8 fizz damage, which actually does apply to our uh, damage because it's like global I guess 500 armor per endurance charge so yeah this is just like insane basically <laughs> this weapon it's kind of ridiculous and uh, the 400% 400 fire damage taken per endurance charge I have that on right now I have a net regen of uh, point of or 15 but that's also because um, what was I going to say that is also because I don't have the jug node like working it like this obviously doesn't show up right so should have a decent amount of regen but you have instant leech anyway so not super concerned about it um you can run blood rage in here i think it's on as well right yeah blood rage is on as well so still have positive leech with all that stuff uh got the totem here in order just to do more damage you have hatred and herald of ash and then you can swap out hatred for like determination on a fight where it's mostly armor based. You go to like 80 some K armor. Uh, I'll put this back on, I guess. Okay. Blade flurry links is blade flurry, maim, uh, melee physical, damage on full life, conch effect, increased critical damage. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just using the Brass Dome here, kind of like for memes, but I think it is really good. You could use it something else if you wanted. Obviously, it gives you a ton of armor there, because it's doubled by the Jug uh, Ascendancy. Using Tome Fist, because they're better than the Oscrum Gloves or whatever, because trying to get crit with those is just annoying, because it's really difficult to get that amount of accuracy. And it's like kind of wasted, because you already have 94% accuracy like this, so you don't need all that other accuracy. Uh, obviously Combs Roots are just amazing for the uh, cannot be stunned, cannot be slowed below base movement speed. Thing is, this build doesn't actually get that node, right? Because it's going to get undeniable, unbreakable, and then unflinching, and then unrelenting. Uh, those are not allocated in here, but we have them allocated on a flask, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, anything else that's super important? It's mainly just this mace, I think, is the thing that makes it kind of insane because this build basically has it's like 55% fizz reduction when you're taking into account the endurance charges and the uh, a basalt flask and then that's not even before the actual armor right then on top of it, it has 20% elemental reduction on hits this is like seven then there's eight from unflinching and then there's five just from this node in general the uh, unbreakable node then on top of that, uh, we have the life regen that we're getting from Unbreakable. Uh, we have 6.5k life. This can easily go up if you drop some damage. We have literally instant leech, um, basically like vol pack without the uh, no life regen. And yeah, it's just pretty fucking tanky, especially against anything physical. But we also just have a large reduction against elemental hits as well. So. Yeah, it just seems like a pretty strong build. Might build us for bossing. Or maybe just uh, mess around with it. I'm not really sure yet. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll link the POB in the description. I don't think there's anything else to really talk about with this. It's kind of simple. I don't think that's it.
Alright, talk to you later.